Hi everybody, it is April 28, 2019. I want to thank my subscriber in Scotland for sending this uh, blog to me, which is based on William Engdahl's article, Glyph Glyphosate, worse than we could imagine. Glyphosate. I so often want to say glyphosate. Glyphosate. Okay, um, this is important, very important. I'm going to read some of this blog. I'm going to read a little bit of that article. And, well, what you can walk away with is we're screwed. We are screwed. You know, you can go and buy food that you think is going to be healthy, and unfortunately, we have had such a takeover of our food supply, <clears throat> whether it is the pesticides, herbicides sprayed on our foods, whether it is the genetically modified organisms, it is getting increasingly hard to find food that will sustain a healthy body as opposed to, as opposed to um, creating an awful lot of illness, disease within our bodies, and that is the truth. But I think it's interesting here. Joseph Farrell wrote that he intended this blog to come out uh, yesterday. This was posted April 23rd, yesterday, to follow Monday's first blog, but the fire at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris happened, and yes, so much is taking place that it is, I find it, virtually impossible to uh, focus in, on one particular thing now. It, it, we're living clearly an unprecedented, but overwhelming, overwhelming, boy, incomprehensible, the uh, incredulity that just has captured my mind, and it's there 24-7. I just walk around shell-shocked that um, well it is deliberate it is an evil that has taken over the world but I didn't know and I will tell you not much shocks me now and I have said in uh, several videos that the depopulation agenda has been a success and I do not believe that we are uh, our population I don't think it is even 300 million many people are dying less people are being born we do have a fertility crisis worldwide um, so I was a little shocked to read this. Okay. There was a long-term study done by French scientists that found ultra-low levels of glyphosate herbicides cause non-alcoholic liver disease. And the Mayo Clinic, after four decades of more or more pervasive use of glyphosate pesticides, 100 million or one out of three Americans now have liver disease and some of them are less than eight years old or young as eight years old glyphosate well you know it's interesting because uh, study after study after study after study on so many um, toxins have shown that these toxins are creating in the American population the American people to be a sick people. This has been going on for decades. I have posted videos on our EPA allowing more more levels of pesticides and glyphosate when studies have shown that it is 
causing so much disease and then asked how could that be if the EPA didn't want Americans to be sick? We've got to get off this idea that, well, evil might exist in a few people. No, it is existing in an awful lot of people. And, well, unfortunately, you know, I, I don't see a way out of this with not not with the condition of the American people. It's just impossible. And I'm not talking about the physical condition because so many of us are feeling absolutely um, sick often, feeling the exhaustion that is induced by all of these toxins and the frequencies, um, but if you have that uh, care in you, if, if your spiritual self is developed enough, then you can't not, it kind of overrides, you know, how you are physically feeling. You just keep going. Very few Americans are there. So when we don't have the, uh, when we can't come up together, and leave aside our petty differences. If we can't unite, all of this is just going to continue. And it is really sad to see this. Okay, well, liver disease, one and three. Now, glyphosate, soil scientists are beginning to realize the residues of glyphosate application are also having a possibly dramatic effect on soil health and nutrition effects that can take years to restore. It's affecting the essential soil nutrients, disaster consequences on soil health. What is one of those effects? The casting activity of earthworms had nearly disappeared from the surface of farmland within three weeks of glyphosate application. I, I don't remember when I saw worms. No joke. In, in the recent years, I cannot remember. Remember when it rained and you would be like stepping over or, well, a whole lot of Americans just don't care, but you'd be stepping over the earthworms on the sidewalks you know, after a hard rain, I, where are they? Well, it's, uh, it's not just from glyphosate, but I do see they spray Roundup Ready here, or Roundup, whatever it is, um, in the apartment complex, and but they spray it all the time to kill the weeds. Well, guess what? I think I found the link between the cat that came into my apartment and decided to stay, his coughing and sneezing. I think it's associated with that spraying of the Roundup. Because just last week, I look out the window and I see the maintenance guy and he's spraying all over, right where the cats go. And then about, well, even less than 24 hours later, the cat is coughing, sneezing, but coughing horribly. And that coughing had stopped for a period of time. Now it's back. We are killing life. And you know what's very interesting? You look out, you see how toxic it is. I did speak to them last year about how toxic this Roundup is. Do they care? Not one bit. Not one bit. And then I, in reading this article, I was thinking, wouldn't it be great 
if we had more people than not who understood that this maintenance guy who's spraying Roundup, that we had people running out of their apartments, grabbing the Roundup from him and screaming at him, you know, we told you how toxic this is, and here you are spraying it again. If we had those people, things could change. We don't have those people. And so I'm left with, okay, do I go back out and tell him again? No, I don't. Why? Because I know that nothing will happen and I will then be a target. We need people to stand up. So, the casting activity of earthworms have nearly disappeared after a few weeks of spraying that glyphosate. Casting is the process of the worm pushing fertile soils to the surface as they burrow. Essential for healthy soil and plant nutrition. There's clear links between the use of pesticides such as glyphosate and dramatic drops in soil fertility and the collapse of microbe systems essential to healthy soil. Worms are one of the most essential. It's well established that earthworms play a vital role in healthy soil nutrients. Soils lacking such are soils that deprive us of the essentials we need for healthy diets. A pandemic problem of soil depletion emerging globally over the past four decades, notably the same time frame that views that the use of pesticides has exploded, exploded worldwide. So what is becoming clearer is the colossal and obviously deliberate official blind eye given to potential dangers of glyphosate based pesticides by regulatory bodies not only in the EU and the USA but also in China which today produces more glyphosate than even Monsanto where we get our foods? China. A whole lot of foods are coming from China. Glyphosate is the base chemical comp component for some 750 different brands of pesticides worldwide. The residues have been found in tap water, orange juice, children's urine, breast milk, chips, snacks, beer, wine, cereals, eggs, oatmeal, wheat products, most conventional foods have been tested and the findings glyphosate is there it's everywhere in brief despite the overwhelming evidence however EU Commission bureaucrats and USA EPA continue to ignore prudence in not banning the toxic chemicals so huh if I were cynical I would almost think this continued official support for glyphosate based herbicides is about more than mere bureaucratic stupidity or ignorance even more than simple uh, simple corruption though that certainly plays a role the nutritional quality of our food chain is being systematically destroyed and it is about more than corporate agribusiness profit so the question if the nutritional value not only of the food, but of the soil itself is being deliberately destroyed. Why? I suspect most regular readers here share the same suspicions that I have. We're being made to pay for our own poisoning by governments no longer interested in the welfare of their people who view them simply as marks to be fleeced, cattle to be slaughtered. And the one bright ray of sunshine, I don't see a bright ray of sunshine. Oh, Carol, you're so negative. Okay, <laughs> I'm not. These lawsuits and Bayer having to, well, Bayer took over Monsanto, having to pay out billions. These multinational corporations are so unbelievably uh, just, <laughs> they put the billions into the fund. It's just business. Ah, we'll have lawsuits. We've got the money. We'll pay it out. None of this is going to stop. 
even with these class action lawsuits against Monsanto and Bayer. It will not stop until the world's people wake up and begin to cultivate their own their own um, deciding for themselves how they want to live within their own communities. Governments are killing us. Governments are killing us. So, I will link below to both, but in a trial in San Francisco, the jury was unanimous in their verdict that Monsanto Roundup weed killer, based on glyphosate, had been responsible for Hardman's uh, cancer, which is Edwin Hardman. He had non Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. Okay. Uh, his attorney stated, it is clear from Monsanto's actions that it does not care whether Roundup causes cancer, focusing instead on manipulating public opinion and undermining anyone who raises genuine and legitimate concerns about Roundup. Yes. Okay. Well, guess what? Um, our entire system here is so thoroughly corrupt, it is now evil, and Americans, you need to take back your power here. So, yeah, because we have so many on a different page and so many statists who are even the quote-unquote awake people, still just loving government, well then, all of you band together and demand that the EPA get rid of glyphosate. Huh. I can dream. A meta-analysis of six studies containing nearly 65,000 participants looked at links between glyphosate-based herbicides and immune um, suppression, endocrine disruption, genetic alterations, and the author found that exposure to glyphosate associated with the high risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Further, they stated that glyphosate alters the gut micro, uh, microbiome biome, and that that could impact the immune system, promote chronic inflammation, and contribute to the susceptibility of invading pathogens. Glyphosate also may act as an endocrine disrupting chemical because it has been found recently to alter sex hormone production in male and female rats. And look at all of the children being born one particular sex and they believe they're the other sex and we've got it's not just glyphosate but so many chemicals now that we are saturated in that alters uh, hormones. Well, guys, what you gonna do about it? Both links are below. Have a great day.